Hey everyone, welcome to Bird Feed for ideas and inspiration for packing Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes. I'm back today to share with you a shoe box that I've packed for one of my favorites, the most challenging, but still a favorite, a 10 to 14 year old boy. Today is International Sports Car Racing Day and I just happen to have packed a race car themed shoebox this year that I am calling Fast and Furious. So I thought I'd share it with you today. This one is packed in the coolest box. I got this at Dollar General. <laughs> Remember when they were selling all their Christmas clearance for a quarter? That's when I got this. But I have to tell you, it wasn't supposed to be a quarter. This was regularly $8, and it wasn't included in that quarter sale. But the particular store I found it in had them all piled up on a table in front with a big sign that said a quarter. So, of course, I brought this to the register, and it rang up $8. But because it was their mistake, <laughs> he gave it to me for a quarter. It's a really nice box. It has faux leather handles on either side. It's already pre-decorated. And it has a copper finish latch and riveted reinforcements on the corners. And I think it would be a great box for this young man to keep. And then inside his box, I did not put anything on the inside of the lid like I normally do, do because I didn't want to cover up the plaid. And this backpack fits nicely inside the lid. So when he opens his box, that's what he's going to see. So let's go ahead and pull out his backpack. It's a nice canvas, medium-sized backpack. It's navy blue and it's trimmed in this like neon orange color, which is kind of cool. He's got a really nice die cast car, one of those bigger ones. The doors actually open on it. Now this is Brian's Nissan Skyline GTR from the Fast and Furious movie. He's got a great shirt. Let me move this back here a little bit that I found at Target on clearance a, a while ago, last year maybe, maybe even the year before, <laughs> I don't remember. But um, I picked it up for only $2.40. This one has tire tread across the front in that neon orange color and a cool race car. It's Cat and Jack and it's an extra large 16. You know what? I'm going to have to remove this like I usually do. Once you spread out a backpack and a shirt, that kind of takes up the whole table. And I gave him a fun pair of character socks. Now this is a guy from Spongebob, I believe, but I don't know who it is, so you guys are going to have to tell me. And these are like ankle socks. I think these are um, men's size socks. But then I gave him just some classic crew socks from Fruit of the Loom. He's got a couple pairs of underwear. I think these are both boxer briefs. One's a size large, a youth size large, and the other is a youth size extra large. And these gray striped ones were recently sent to me by Denise L. So thank you for those, Denise. She sent me a box, a big box of goodies. And one more thing to wear, a knit hat, a little toboggan in this heather gray. It's a really nice one, that 3M Thinsulate. I got this for 69 cents, you guys, at Walgreens recently. After the winter clearance, I gave this young man a harmonica. And I really like these harmonicas. I get them on Amazon uh, for to a box. And they come out to about anywhere between I don't know, three, maybe 350, probably closer to 350, depending on the price they are at the time that you buy them. This particular one has a gold finish. It comes in this nice hard plastic case, and it also comes with a, a cleaning cloth. 
and it has a good tone to it. I've purchased these several times in the past, so I've tried them out before, and they sound pretty good. They have, um, if I'm remembering correctly, 10 keys, 20 tones. And I don't know exactly what that means because I don't play harmonica, but they do sound pretty good. I'll leave the Amazon link to that in the video description below. I squeezed in a little something soft for him. This is a plush Mandalorian Hallmark ornament with a little elasticized loop on the top so he can hang it on something if he'd like or he can cut that off because I have given him scissors in his shoebox. I left the tag on. I might take it off but um, I like to leave some packaging on so they can see that they've got new items in the box. He's got a pencil pouch filled with a nice assortment of school supplies. The pouch itself is from Angie's contribution from last year. I have a few of these left. Inside, he's got an assortment of eight pencils. Some of them are decorated fun pencils three different colors of pens, red, black, and blue. He's got a rainbow gel pen. I don't know if you can see the ink in that, but it writes rainbow. And an assortment of erasers, um, cap erasers, or a, a funny emoji eraser and a big eraser. He's also got a six inch ruler in here also from Angie and a pair of scissors. He's got a stubby green highlighter that would fit in his pencil case, but it makes it a bit lumpy to pack flat. I also gave him one of these cool race car pens that I get on Shein.com. It's a working pen and a car. And it's not uncomfortable to hold and it writes really well too. So I thought that would be a lot of fun to include in a race car shoe box. He's got a Casio dual powered solar calculator in this pocket size provided by my friend Sally. I am super excited about the new packaging being cardboard. This way I can send him the calculator in the packaging without worrying about the plastic. He's got a really cool fidget toy slash puzzle that many of you probably saw me haul on Tamu. I think I only paid like $1.25 for this. It's, and I'm, I had twisted it up into a ball when I showed it to you guys. And I'm not gonna do that again on camera because it took me a long time to get it back into this shape so that I could pack it flat. And I went ahead and included the packaging because it shows him different shapes and gives him an idea of exactly what this is for him to play with and fidget with. It's really a cool toy for this age range. I also gave him a magnetic pocket game of four in a row. It comes in a tin. I didn't open it. Um, there's probably some empty space on the inside that I may have been able to utilize, but I didn't really need it. So I thought I'd leave it still packaged up. He's got one of these Turbo Wheels collector's boxes that I picked up at the Dollar Tree, and I'm leaving the cardboard band around it to give him some ideas of how he can use it. And I filled it full. I gave him three Hot Wheels race cars I gave him a medic car because you've got to have an ambulance when you've got race cars on the racetrack. I also put in there a Legos Hot Wheels car. That looks like so. And, so, and when I say Legos, I mean it's actually Hot Wheels compatible with Legos. And then these are the Mega Blocks race car guys from the Dollar Tree or a few of them. I put three of them in there. I used the space to put in a, a couple of bracelets 
and a cross. So he's got a wooden cross contributed by an anonymous donor last year. I've got some of these left. I love these stained wooden crosses. And I added a uh, black satin cord to it. And then he's got a couple of bracelets that I got on Shein. I believe I got both of these on Shein. One is a braided black, brown, and cream color, and the other is a braided paracord bracelet. He's got a cool set of marbles. These are really pretty marbles. 25 marbles and a shooter, and these were recently sent to me by Denise L. Aren't those pretty? Then in the last little pocket here, it's got an assortment of things. I gave him one of the Subway Surfer key rings slash bag tags, a little shoe that came from the Dollar Tree in a two pack. He's got a mending kit from Joan Cowan, a Marvel Iron Man themed lip balm, another bracelet, a pretty colorful silicone bracelet, nail clippers, and some cool race car stickers. I got these either on Shein or Timu, I don't remember, but I, I picked out an assortment of race cars for him. So that's what's in his collector's box. I gave him a Hot Wheels launcher and I made sure that the three race cars I gave him fit inside here because sometimes they're too fat to fit in here and they don't launch really well. So he's got that and when he opens up that bag of marbles he's going to want some place to store them so I gave him a little cloth drawstring bag. He's got three rubber bouncy balls, a little plastic skateboard just for fun. It says you're a hit. Obviously that came in a package of Valentine's, as did the balls. He's got a collapsible flying disc, a red hair comb, a toothbrush with a cap on it from Joan. He's got a spiral notebook for school. He has a really cool coloring book for boys and this was a contribution from Joan Cowan as well. She actually sent this last year started packing this box last year, but I didn't complete it. So it will go to a young man this year. And it is filled with some great images that I think a boy this age could really get into coloring lots of different vehicles, including race cars. I think it's wonderful. So thank you again for that, Joan color in that coloring book, I'm giving him an entire 36 pack of different color Prang colored pencils that we recently found at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. That was such a deal. I've also given him a tutorial drawing book. Let's draw big machines. This came from the Dollar Tree. Starts out a little simplistic, but as we get to the end, they become a little bit more difficult. All sorts of vehicles, including race cars. So I think he'll enjoy learning how to draw. And I included for him some extra drawing paper. <laughs> Do you guys remember these from Holler? <laughs> that was a long time ago. I think this is, I don't know, I think it's my last one. I might have some others. And one last crafty fun thing in his shoebox, a Hot Wheels sticker by number activity book. It has different activities, color by number, and some sticker fun. This is numbered stickers and all the parts to those cars are in the center and numbered and you have to figure out where they go. I think this could be fun for a 10 to 14 year old boy. And the last thing in his box is my card uh, with a letter and photo 
and I think I put his prayer card in here as well. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. And I think it's perfect for a shoebox going to a young boy who might be hearing the good news for the first time. So that is my Fast and Furious race car themed shoebox packed for a 10 to 14 year old boy. I hope you enjoyed this one and got some ideas and inspiration for packing your shoeboxes this year. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye now.